I recently uh, achieved the dream of every middle class person. I had a bit of work done on the house. Had a bit of work done, had a new kitchen put in. I stress, we're not wealthy, but we came into some money on the death of an elderly relative upon which I had bet heavily. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Uncle Oscar, Daddy needs a kitchen island. <laughs> So we, uh, we got this work done, and I don't know if there are any men in the audience who are man enough to admit that when you meet a proper man, you go a bit funny, right? <laughs> like, if you see, walking down the street, if you see a guy who's, like, wearing overalls, he's got paint all over them, and you see him and you go, there goes a proper man, and you, you go a bit limp, you know, oh, he's proper. All it really means, of course, is that he's not that good at painting. <laughs> And what happens, and I don't want to do this, this happens despite my best endeavours, I open the door to them and I do a bit of a voice, right? I don't know what it is, these guys turn up, I'm like, all right, let's wait. Like, what, where, where is that coming from? What is that? I'm going, all right, wait, cup of tea, cheeky Stella, all right, lovely. I, I think on some level I'm trying to sort of leverage a friendship with them in order to create the possibility of the discount for cash. I don't know if anyone's ever pulled that off. All right, lads, cup of tea, discount for cash. What that is, I'll give you the cash, you knock the vat off. Everybody's laughing, apart from obviously the schools and the hospitals. Anyway, and, and they must know. They must know, right? When I turn up like, like this, they must go around the corner and go, he's rather patronising, isn't he? Yes, he is. He is condescending to us, talking down to us, isn't he? Yes, yes, he's trying rather hard. That's what she said, careful. And um, <laughs> we tried to do the whole job in a week, right? They wanted to get it done in a week. So at one point, they were all in the living room. Now, our living room is underneath our kitchen with this little squeezy house on a hill. And all five of them were downstairs in the living room having a chat, right? So there was uh, a chippy, a sparky. You've got another lingo. Uh, there was uh, whatever the fuck a plumber is. <laughs> Cheeky dolphin, I don't know. <laughs> Splash Harry, um, and uh, a bender, that's unlikely, I think. Um, and a gaffer, and a spaffer, which is my word for a plasterer. I've made that up myself, you're welcome. <laughs> spaff, 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 it's harder than it looks. So all five of them were in there, and I went in to offer them a coffee, right? And I panicked, because I didn't know how to address them together. And I walked in, and I went, all right, men. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I think I was going to go for lads, and then I bailed out halfway through the sentence. So I turned up, men, as if I'm the brigadier at the back of the battlefield on a white horse. And I'm expecting you, obviously, to die tomorrow in your hundreds of thousands. But for now, can I offer your coffee? <laughs> so they all said yes. So two minutes later, I'm standing upstairs in the kitchen at the worktop in front of a coffee pod machine I already feel bloody guilty about. And I've got five pods on the worktop in front of me, thinking, am I really gonna chuck five pods at these bastards, right? These are, what if they want another coffee later on? They're here all week. This is gonna bankrupt me, right? I'm gonna have to kill another relative. They're not... They're not the usual pods, is my point. They're from a special collection called simply Regime. And... And so I've got the five, I scoot them up, I've got five pods in one hand, I've got a jar of dirty instant coffee in the other hand, and I'm looking from one to the other, trying to make my mind up. When I look up, and one of the builders is standing on a ladder looking in through the kitchen window. <laughs> there, is, there is no other thought I could possibly have been contemplating. I ended up having to do a sort of extended improvised act out to my wife, who was not in the building, <laughs> saying to her out loud, Oh, all right, darling, what are you doing there? What are you doing getting this instant muck? Nothing but the best for my boys. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. I just hate being caught out being my real self. 